Hi everybody, today we're here in St. Augustine, Florida. We're gonna head into the Columbia. They've been serving up meals for over a hundred years. You ready, Don? I'm ready. Let's do Let's this. Do it. The Columbia, the gem of Spanish restaurants. Always walk by here, but today we're gonna go in. Beautiful manicured gardens here. Look at that. Definitely tropical, but got the, I think it's the Spanish flag up there. Maybe that's another Spanish type flag there, but. We're gonna head into the Columbia here. Celebrating 115 years. Well, here's their menu. And a lot of these things I can't even pronounce. But these are, I guess, their appetizers, it looks like. Um, definitely do not have any type of Spanish or Cuban culture, but uh, that must be a steak sandwich. Uh, of course, they have the original Cuban, which I probably will go with. And it's got a com comes with a cup of soup. That seems to be like a good lunch option. Lunch is served uh, from 11 to 4 daily. They also have chicken and yellow rice, pork, uh, roasted pork, El Cub Cubana. Um, a lot of really cool things to try. Of course, we're up for a little bit of an adventure today. <laughs> uh, got a grilled. Um, Mari Mari, which is I think it's fish, obviously, yeah, boneless, uh, seventeen dollars. Prices seem to be decent. Ooh, they have key lime pie. They have cocktails and sangria. We're being a little fancy. Normally we eat over at Scarlet Harris, but the price wasn't that bad compared to. Us. So I'm glad we're here. Of course, it has. It's been here for like a hundred plus years. Uh, it's got the Spanish tile throughout, which is really, you really feel like you're in Spain uh, sitting here and dining, and we're super, super stoked. Now, we both order Cubans because we've been wanting Cuban since we got into Florida, right? Uh, and then I ordered a salad, and you ordered... The, the Cuban bean soup, I believe. The Cuban bean soup, and I yeah. he ordered salad. It's a water fountain over here. And, it's and a big one. It's an indoor one. <laughs> wow. It's now, every day. The atmosphere in here is wow. It's really good. Um, they even have a balcony you can sit upstairs oh for God. upstairs dining. It gets really busy. So this is definitely, uh, it's got a flair to it. Of course, we're here in St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, we're not going to be here long today, though. Uh, we're just for a couple of just for well, here's our salad. Look at that. It's got a like an Italian type dressing. And take a look at that bread. The bread looks really, really good, and it's it's warm. I can feel it. Then there's a side of butter. It says the gem of Spanish restaurants. And here's the soup. It's um Spanish bean soup. Yeah, and then over there is your your bread. It's got potatoes and ham and beans in it. Looks good. I like a strong Italian dressing smell to it, don't it? And your I can smell your soup. soup. It's hot. Soup looks good. Got potatoes. I'm gonna try to get into this. Got olives and ham. And 
This bread is so flaky. You can tell it's homemade. This bread is really good. It's super flaky. It's warm. It's super, super soft, like like angel feathers, right? <laughs> um, really, really good. Well, folks, there's the Cuban. It looks really good. You can see the the pork and it looks like the ham and the mustard done perfect with the cheese, and then it's pressed on that garlic pressed bread got a pickle a tomato some lettuce and there's some chips there and there's dawn's i like yours yours is like the whole view of it that's almost per picture perfect there these look like banana chips don't they banana chips they look like that. <laughs> what are they a potato chip a potato chip <laughs> I almost want to say it's a banana because you can see the seed in it, but I don't know. Yeah, we don't know what these chips are. We have to find they're, out. There's some kind of, but they taste like potato chips. There's like three little black seeds or something in the middle. Mm. We're trying things that we don't, we don't know. It's not bad. I'm just trying to figure out the flavor. Here's the pickle. Mm. Okay, I'm going to get into this, this uh, cube at is the lettuce you're supposed to put it on your sandwich? You can meat? if you want. I'm going to take mine this way. Um, it's good. Um, I've had them a lot of times where they put like more garlic on the crust. I like that. This here, the crust is kind of kind of on the plain side. Um, it's still good, but I don't think it's garlic pressed. It's um a little on the dry side, I think. I think it needs a little more seasoning. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like plain. It could use more flavor. But it's good all the way around. I mean, it's got good flavor to the you know the, nat the natural flavor. But not, not enough garlic or something. Oh. Yeah, they're like they almost look like bananas in a way. So they're plain, plain tin chips. They're like salted, right? Yeah. We had two diet cokes, one cup of Spanish beans, a 1905 entree lunch, and two Cuban sandwiches, and our total was 40, 42. Well, let's check out the gift shop. Definitely love this tile. Oh wow, I got these little um, sangria. Oh, wine coolers, yeah. It's a wine cooler. Yeah. We got the, got their own brand of olives and here's their salad dressing there. But look at these plates. <laughs> Definitely Festive, aren't they? Bright, too. Just left the Columbia. What did you think about our lunch? My soup was really good, and the bread that came with it. Salad was, was pretty good. A little average, but the dressing was really good. So let's get to our Cubans. What did you think, Dawn? My Cuban was uh, burnt and dry. Was definitely dry. Uh, definitely not the best Cuban I've ever had. In fact, uh, the ones in the Smokies are actually some of the best we've ever had. Of course, we're gonna be we're gonna be on the search for uh, better like Cubans. Cubans. <laughs> yes, but our waiter actually uh, wasn't feeling good, and he went home halfway through our meal. Uh, you could tell he wasn't feeling well. You could tell he was hurting. And then after that, the service kind of got weird, <laughs> but he couldn't help it. Uh, so this review was, was kind of interesting. I guess the big question is, Dawn, would you do uh, the Columbia again? With so many other options, I'd like to try something different next time. Yeah, um, I would definitely try another restaurant area. That's going to do it for today in St. Augustine, Florida. And if you like this vlog, give it a give thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming road trip adventures, guys. We're going to be all over Florida. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.